begin working with a new attending physician, whether she's a peak career doctor pushing savings for retirement or a new attending physician just starting practice. Uh, we always like to start with a functional definition of wealth. The fact is, in terms of financial independence, there are good assets and bad assets. Our societal definition of rich is about stuff. In reality, the more stuff you own, the more your stuff owns you and the more it costs. If you want to achieve walk-away wealth, what we like to call a work-optional lifestyle, you need to start by changing your head. All assets are not created equal. Walk-away wealth requires that you prioritize assets that put dollars into your pocket. Let's look at two examples. Imagine you had a quarter million dollars, $250,000, and you invested it in either an S&P 500 index fund or a yacht. Same price, $250,000. And on a traditional balance sheet, those two assets are mathematically identical. That's the reason someone can have an apparently high net worth if they have lots of stuff, but very little actual financial security. If you want to end up with walk-away wealth, you need to prioritize functional assets, not lifestyle assets. To construct a functional balance sheet, calculate all of your net worth by counting only those things that put money into your pocket over time. So you would count stocks, mutual funds, an S&P 500 index fund, income producing real estate savings, but you wouldn't count your home, your vacation homes, your cars, your yachts, your art or jewelry, uh, or even your stable of Arabian ponies. Why not include the house? Well, if you have a $400,000 home with a $200,000 mortgage, it looks the same on your balance sheet as a million dollar home with an $800,000 mortgage. But over a lifetime, the difference between those two houses will be profound. So change the way you keep score with a functional balance sheet and you can change your economic outcome.